beautiful morning. Today is the day that I've been waiting for. Today is the day that I've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, today I got my gimbal and I want to make this video kind of like a review and behind the scene. Sony A6500, heard a lot of things about it. I absolutely loved it. Bought a new lens, new camera, crisp video quality, everything is just amazing. And then I went out to shoot some videos, of course, I want to shoot some B-rolls. And when I went out and I tried shooting with this camera, the footage, when I came back home, I was not really satisfied with the footage because it was a lot shakier. Then I head over to the internet and I searched some cheap knockoff of Glidecam, which is like 10 USD, and I ordered that. It kind of did what it's supposed to do, but it's not what I wanted. It took a lot of time to balance and it's just terrible. So I came across this really affordable gimbal on the internet which is way cheaper than the DJI and all the other competitors comp 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 <laughs> which is way cheaper than all the other competitions and today is the day I'm gonna be reviewing it. I'm gonna give you my thoughts and what I think about it and in a bit we're gonna go out and we're gonna test this. So enough talking let's go out in the battlefield and let's test this shit right now. Here it is right here, fits right in my drawer, comes out with a really nice tripod and yeah, that's it. Like, this is it. That's all I need right here. It fits right in my bag and it's perfect for traveling. I'm gonna throw you guys in my backpack and I'll see you guys very soon. Ah. Alright, so here we are. Hold on, give me a second. Oh. Whoa, it's floating. So the gimbal has this really cool new feature that the camera can float. So here we are at this beautiful square and we're gonna start filming here and yeah, I'm just kidding, my friend is holding the camera by the way. Say what's up. What's up guys? Yeah, he's, he's, he looks like a criminal. Uh, whatever. So now we're gonna set up the gimbal and yeah, start shooting. Alright, here we are in this really cool location. A lot of people are staring at me. The reason we choose this place because it's completely blocked and there are no cars. So we're going to take our first shot. Are you kidding me right now? So we want to we want to shoot a video. The, the first scene is gonna be in a parking lot, and I have I have all these shots in mind. And uh, when you want to film these kind of videos, you want to know what you're filming. So the first shot is gonna be like a subject walking in the parking lot. And, uh, all right. So the good thing about the gimbal is really necessary for a filmmaker and especially Sony a6500 doesn't have good stabilization so I really needed it and now that I have it it can fit right in my backpack and it's really good for traveling and here's a little dancing sequence for you guys subject is walking through the parking lot and he finds these headphones you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about when you're gonna see the actual video which is gonna be uploaded after this video so this is just a behind the scene and kind of the test of this gimbal so far I'm pretty impressed with the shots that I got from this gimbal so right now we're looking for the perfect lighting
Alright, done. Let's get out of here. Alright, here I am in Batu Caves. The reason I came here because there's a lot going on here. There are people, there are pigeons, and yeah, it's a really good place to test out the gimbal. Also, I'm getting a lot of weird looks by people right now. So, whew, it is it is hot out here today. So right now I'm trying to get a shot of the gimbal going through the pigeons and um, as you can see there are tons of pigeons behind me and uh, I'm gonna go and run through and try to get a shot of the pigeons flying hopefully it works out also it's getting cloudy so I'm scared it's gonna rain but yeah all right good morning people what a beautiful morning here in Kuala Lumpur so it's day number two of the shoot and I'm out here to get some more shots of the Kuala Lumpur. Yesterday we focused on some subjects and today is the day that I'm gonna take the shots of the city and I, and I came across this beautiful fountain so I'm gonna maybe do a pan around the fountain and see how it looks and so far the gimbal is has been... It is hot here, it is really hot as you can see. It's quite humid so yeah I'm gonna go try to take the shot of this fountain maybe like do a 360 because uh, I have a lot of shots that I did 360 around people so I'm gonna blend those shots in into this it's not gonna make sense right now but once the video is gonna be done you guys will know what I'm talking about so that's what we're doing right now all right so that was not bad walking with this gimbal it's kind of weird because everybody's staring at you because you're just walking you're looking like you're basically looking like a weirdo walking with this thing. Using this gimbal, it's pretty smooth. I have no problems at all and the battery timing is just insane. Uh, I've been using this battery since yesterday and it's like, I'm still, it's still going. So it's pretty good. And press the button four times and it's gonna go into the time-lapse mode. For the time-lapse, you can fine tune it from the application and you can download it on the phone, which is really insane. Uh, so. So far, I'm pretty happy with this buy. It's a pretty good competitor for the Zayun Crane, which is uh, double the price of this right now. So creating the video, I have this music going in my head, so I know what kind of what kind of shots that I need to get. So the music is fast paced, and there's a lot of bass. The music is fast paced, and the shots are gonna be like high intention. It has the music is fast paced, so the shots are gonna be like uh, really fast moving shots of time lapse and people and a lot of things happening so that's what I'm looking for and right now I'm gonna go to the city center and try to get some of those shots and uh, yeah <laughs> hey, hey boss hey, hey boss how you doing hey boss how you doing boss I just uh, I'm making a video you want to be in uh, in the no no you you can be in it like I, I uh, like this and oh so romantic <laughs> okay thank you boss thank you, thank thank you boss alrighty uh, that was really awkward what what the hell was that bro? Alright, so <clears throat> I just the gimbal is not on. I'm trying to save battery. I just nailed a really nice hyperlapse and I can't believe how well it went. So this gimbal has the ability to lock the target and uh, and it will just it won't move. So because of this gimbal, it's giving me so many opportunities to do a lot of things that I wouldn't be able to do without a gimbal so it's definitely a necessary tool for a filmmaker and it, I can I can create hyperlapses with ease now and I can get more cinematic shots and I can it just opened up a lot of doors for me and it's just mind-blowing and I can't wait to use this in the next video which is gonna be uploaded right after this because oh I'm excited ah. all right here I am in the city center Ah, hold on, it's really bright. Ah, oh, much better. It is extremely bright outside. It's uh, 1 p.m. in the afternoon, which is not the ideal location, which is not the ideal time to film videos because the sun is so harsh. But right now, I'm here in the city center, final spot. I'm gonna get some shot of the fountain and I'm gonna get some shot of the streets because there's a lot going on and there are a lot of people. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so this is 
is it. That concludes my uh, gimbal review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I highly recommend this gimbal for the filmmaker. It's really a necessary tool and this is really affordable. And uh, yeah, can't wait to go home and edit the cinematic video, which is gonna be up in a few days. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell. Ring, click the bell icon and get notified when I upload. All right, so ah, it's getting so hot. I'm gonna go now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.